Jack how disappointing that result today? Yeah, um, hugely disappointing. I think there's a lot of things that we we're working on coming into it and, and from previous games that, that we felt that we didn't have enough control over the game, and control over the ball and that found ourselves defending way too much. Um, I think we showed early signs in the game, really positive signs of that, of being a bit braver on the ball, being trying to trying to control some of the game ourselves and not feel like we we're under the cosh and, and which obviously they do well here at trying to put you under pressure early um, and we create some chances out of that early on um, we don't take them um, and we defend a couple of situations poorly and then you find yourself facing that field battle um, that's the reality of what we need to do better in these games we've, we've given away too many opportunities that we can avoid um, and that's something we need to be better at going forward. Is that a concern that maybe some of the same goals have been conceded against Celtic a few games in a row? It's a concern if you don't keep doing if you keep doing it. Um, lots of new players in, some new faces, some different people that we need to get up to speed. But all of us as a collective, we need to address and, and defend these moments better because um, it then becomes difficult to to get a foothold back in the game once you've done that. Um, so while there was positive stuff early, we've given away some opportunities and conceded goals, and then it's a it's a tough day for you. You also come here to achieve things to win things. You've yeah. had some special moments last season, but yeah. when you keep having painful results like this, just how difficult is it to keep picking yourself back up again? Um, it, it's not difficult to pick yourself. It hurts. It hurts. It's not what we want. It's not um, what we believe our club's about. Um, you have the beauty of being able to hopefully go back to Ibrox again soon and being back with the fans and hopefully kicking on and, and putting this behind us. Um, some great fixtures, some great European ties to look forward to. League is still our main focus. Um, so we've got some work to do. Um, whilst there was good signs today, we need to be better. Um, and that's why I'm here. I'm here to try and help that. Getting back to Ibrox, do you think that having those home comforts, do you think that will help what's the score? I think it's huge, I think in general just for, for the club, I think the fans are desperate for it, we're desperate for it, um, but it's no excuse, it's no, it's no, uh, it's something that we have to deal with. Um, we have dealt with it fairly well, I think. Um, we appreciate the fact that the fans have, have made, made differences and changes to their weekends to come and support us, um, and hopefully we're back in Ibrox soon. But, um, that's, that's, that's by the by, um, we're disappointed about today. and. Um, I hope that we've shown some things that the fans can be hopeful of, um, but we need to be better because we don't want these results anymore. Yeah, you obviously look back at this as a team and see if they can do better, but yeah. how much do you analyse your own performance and yeah. do you assess your performance today? Always, always. Um, Pleased with my performance. Like you, never, you never enjoy conceding goals. You always look back at, back at everything. Um, Difficult scenarios. Um, I looked at my position on the second one. I think I'm in a position which is suitable for where we were at in the game and being in possession of the ball. Um, in giving the ball away, I'm trying to get back to my optimal position where I want to be in that moment and, and perhaps a little bit didn't quite get back to where I wanted to get to ideally. Um, but look, I analyse things, I look at things. Um, am I happy with everything else I did? Am I happy with how I support the team and support from behind? and? Um, help the team build up and, and yeah there are but at the end of the day we've not got the result we wanted and if that's something I need to look at um, I will do um, as we will do as the rest of the squad. Did Piogo surprise you with how early he took that shot on the same goal? No surprise you, you could see he was shaping up for it as, as I said my, my, my optimal position was where I wanted to get back to I didn't get the opportunity to get there um, with turning over the ball um, again I'll look at it again could I have been somewhere different to start with? Um, have I got after it as well as I possibly could do from the position I was in? Yeah, I have. And, um, yeah, I'm disappointed with it as conceded in any other goal. Last one, please, guys. There's a lot of new players, there's a lot yeah. of young players coming. Yeah. How much do you as a manager look at the team experience to yeah. take responsibility for picking them up after this and yeah. making sure it doesn't happen? Yeah. We've got a tricky period now where we don't have a game for a couple of weeks. You know, that's going to be the difficult thing. We're going to be thinking about it for a long time. Um, we're going to have days to look back at it. We're going to have a lot of training sessions between now and the next game. Um, it's important that we, we do pick them up. Like it's not going to, the next day we're in, 
it's not going to just disappear. There's no, no danger of that. It's going to be something that's going to be fresh on people's minds for a while. And it needs to be because that's how important it is to us and, and to the club. Um, so yeah, things to, things to work on, things to get better at, be more efficient. Um, but I think the belief's there and, and I hope I hope that shows at least that we're still fighting and there is a belief that we that we can. Thank you. Thanks, Thank you. Thanks, Thanks Joe.